Hi everyone, I'm Laz, the Power BI Practice Lead here at Adatis. And in this short video, I want to take you through the Power BI Governance and Rollout Assessment. So this is one of our most popular Power BI offerings and for the right reasons. When we roll out Power BI, when we find organizations rolling out Power BI too quickly without having a strong plan in place, we usually find a common set of issues come into play. So what are these common issues? Well, the first one is not having a single version of the truth. Therefore, no alignment on who has the correct numbers and where to go to get the correct numbers as well. Apart from that, there is no strategy or rollout plan in place. Users don't know where to ask questions, such as there is no internal portal or a community built internally where groups of users can ask their questions and get answers maybe from a core reporting team or a set of Power BI champions. Apart from that, there's a proliferation of workspaces as well as other Power BI artifacts such as reports, data sets, apps and so on. So in other words, we lose control of all these artifacts that exist in the Power BI ecosystem. Also, no processes to manage data sets and various other aspects of Power BI, as well as the core reporting team, the BI team loses full control. So, how does this assessment help? Well, firstly, it ensures all elements are considered. And by this, I mean, from the Power BI ecosystem, there are various different categories or pillars that need to have the relevant amount of focus. So this offering here ensures that each one of these has a, um, a good enough of focus and time given to it as well. Apart from that, we offer bespoke recommendations and all other recommendations are tailored uh, aligned to the current pain points in the organization as well as the future vision of where the organization would like to go as well. Also, um, a governance model as well as architecture model is offered. So in other words, a plan on where we are now in what deployment approach are we in and where we should be going, as well as how does the current data architecture look? What are the changes required in order for it to work well with Power BI? Apart from that, this assessment not only offers recommendations as of the now, but it offers short, medium, as well as long-term recommendations as well. And lastly, it also offers a phased roadmap. And by this, I mean, we take all those bespoke recommendations and we put them in a step-by-step -step plan, highlighting why each one is important, the right order to do it in, the benefit, as well as the owner or the person who should be responsible for that step as well. So to finish up, I will just briefly touch upon the, the approach that we use to carry out this assessment, which we've done multiple times across different industries for various different clients with great success. So we have a four phase approach. The first step is the planning phase. And here is really where we sit down, we align on um, the objectives and the different Power BI categories that should be explored and understand the different stakeholder groups that should be included. We then move to the current state, and this is where we now spend time in various different workshops in order to understand how is Power BI being used now? Where do we want Power BI to go? How's the current reporting architecture, the data architecture, the governance model that currently exists? What are the current skills and knowledge around Power BI? So it's really building a good foundation of how is Power BI working now? We then move on to the future state, and here, in this phase, is where we now take all this information that we got from the current state and start to write up the bespoke recommendations. And again, these bespoke recommendations are aligned, as we said, in the planning phase on those core areas that need more focus as well. And lastly, we finish up on roadmap. And this is where we implement the most actionable aspect of the assessment as well. Because here, we take all the bespoke recommendations put them in a step-by-step -step plan and offer some additional information on how these should be implemented as well. So that there is a quick summary of the Power BI governance and rollout assessment. I hope that gave you a bit more insight on how we deliver this um, offering. And if you have any questions, please do feel free to reach out. Thank you.